Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the recent released Lord Grasp. Um, again, different type of setting than usual. I am in the middle of decorating. I will end up doing like a little room tour once I've done. And I'll show you where I actually put all of these <laughs> reviews on the shelves and stuff. So definitely will get round to that pretty soon. But anyway, going back to this review, yes, Lord Grasp, it's like a hodgepodge of different types of figures. I will bring those figures in and show you exactly how they've put this guy together. But on the back, you have got him there with a couple of characters. So the actual giant uh, guy, I keep forgetting this name. So, and I've seen that, uh, this on one of the communities on Facebook. So we're probably going to get this guy, but I hope to God we get the uh, the two giants. Again, just drop us the comments. Let me know the names of the giants as well. And I can't see who this is on the back here. I haven't got my specs on at the moment. So, but if you see that, if you can pick it up on the actual camera, what character is this in the back there? I have not got a clue. It's something on a horse. <laughs> the the back and it's got the cross cells in and the Terror and the Stratos Merman cartoon collection as well. So let's crack this open and have a little closer look. So with Lord Grasp, uh, yeah, hodgepodge of four other different types of figures. You'll probably be able to tell just by looking at it what type of figures they've used. But with the articulation, it's all the usual stuff with the origins, the 360 on the arms, up, down, elbow, joint, wrist, legs back and forth, splay out, bend at the knee, twist at the rotation of the actual top of the boot, ball joint on the actual ankle, and the head left, right, up, down, round and round. So, jet black, absolutely quite like the colours on what they've used for this guy. So, with the especially with the yellow hitting against the black as well. So, with the head, so it is another snake man. And at first, I didn't even recognise, I think it was because... It was jet black, but that guy is squeeze. So again, just a straight repaint of him. He comes with this cloak, which is scare glows. The chest is just, I think it is just a normal like He-Man type of body, but it's got the snake emblem on the front. The big claw with the little clasp on the side. Obviously, that is clawful. And then the boots is your bog standard type of He-Man figure as well. With his accessories, it comes with like a jade type of colour shield, which will just clip on and twist around there and then he also comes with the actual snake staff as well where you can clip into his little hand like so but let's bring those four figures in again and let's make our own version of Lord Grasp and there he is, like I say, clawful, squeeze, scare glow, and the bog standard type of He-Man boots. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments box. Have you gone out, have you gone and got Lord Grasp, or is it a skip for you? Because he was never really released in the original uh, 80s type of waves. Um, but yeah, drop us those comments in. 
But while you're there, do the usual with the like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.